Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Rajai. Today we are going to discuss the topic of motivating others. Please listen to the PowerPoint presentation and I will come back at the end of presentation to go over key points of the topic. Motivating others. Agenda. Increasing motivation and performance. Diagnosing work performance problems. Enhancing individuals' abilities. Fostering a motivating work environment. Elements of an effective motivation program. Objectives of this chapter are. Learn about various aspects that impact motivation of the employees. Learn guidelines to tackle behavioral issues of team members. Step-by-step -step process to achieve organizational goals by increasing employee commitment and motivation. Increasing motivation and performance. As per the survey at IHC, factors such as motivating and rewarding environment, and company values are responsible for increased employee commitment. It is important for any company to focus on creating work environments where employees are highly productive and motivated. Intention of this chapter is to put forth a six-step process to achieve such motivating environment. Diagnosing work performance problems. Performance of an employee depends on both the factors, ability and motivation. Ability refers to aptitude, training and resource availability. Ability can be improved by providing proper training to improve skills and providing appropriate resources to complete the task. Aptitude is the combination of native skills and abilities that person brings to a job. Motivation is the desire and commitment of an employee towards work. Effective manager has to diagnose if the poor performance is due to ability or motivation and treat it accordingly. Wrong assessment of the problem can worsen the situation. Example, if the poor performance is due to ability problem and manager uses reassure techniques to improve motivation, it will worsen the problem. Enhancing individual's abilities. Three factors that reduces ability of a manager to perform. Addressing problems by retreating their technical specialties rather than managing. Focusing on past performance. Over-delegation and unpractical micromanagement. Five tools to deal with poor performance problems are. Resupply, provide necessary resources and support to complete the job, which are lacking in current situation. Retrain. Retrain the employee to improve performance. Refitting. Redefine the job description considering ability of the employee. Reassign. If none of the above tool works then try to assign different task with less responsibility. Release. After failing all the attempts to retain the employee manager should consider releasing the employee. Fostering a motivating work environment. Theory X. The basic assumption of this theory is that workers do not want to work hard or take responsibility and it is the manager's responsibility to intimidate, manipulate, and closely watch the workers so that they give their best. Theory Y The basic assumption of this theory is that workers usually want to do a good job and do a good job so it is the manager's role to assist workers to reach their potential and motivate them to succeed. The purpose of these two theories is to teach motivational skills to the managers. An effective motivation program emphasizes on both, job satisfaction and performance. Fostering a motivating environment. Below figure shows, effective motivational programs not only can, but must focus on increasing both satisfaction and productivity. A high emphasis on satisfaction with a low emphasis on performance represents an irresponsible view of the role of management. Indulging management style. High emphasis on job satisfaction and low emphasis on performance. 
Imposing management style. Follow manager's orders, high emphasis on performance. Ignoring management style. Weak management style, emphasis is neither on job satisfaction nor on performance. Integrative management style. Most effective management style, emphasis is on performance and job satisfaction as well. Elements of an effective motivation program. Model to understand organizational dynamics related to work performance are Motivation, performance, outcomes, satisfaction Motivation improves performance and outcomes or rewards resulted from performance provides satisfaction. These four factors are basic and core variables. Details of these factors and other necessary factors to complete motivational program are discussed in remaining chapter. 6 Elements of an Integrative Motivation Program First two elements are related to motivation performance link. Goal Setting Goals should be understood and accepted by the employee in order to be effective. Goals should be specific, consistent, and appropriately challenging. Feedback about the progress is necessary, as it helps for clarifying expectations, gaining recognition and taking corrective actions to ensure final goal will be achieved. Step 2. Remove obstacles. Provide all the necessary support required to fulfill the goal. Ensure required recourses, training and support from other work units are available. Depending on the condition manager should have appropriate involvement in the task. That is, micromanagement can frustrate experienced employees and ignorance can frustrate newly joined inexperienced employees. Step 3 Third element is related to performance outcomes link. Encourage exceptional performance and acceptable behavior. Once goals are set and obstacles are removed it is important to encourage goal accomplishment by linking performance to rewards and discipline. Appropriate rewards encourage high performance and desired behavior. Discipline approach discourages unacceptable behavior. Ignorance approach can foster wrong habits. Managers' attitude and daily interactions have significant impact on the behavior of team members. Hence managers should have positive attitude and healthy interactions with subordinates. Strategies for shaping behavior Reprimand Respond negatively to employees' unacceptable behavior. Provide negative feedback to stop inappropriate action. Redirect Describe standards or behavior you expect. Ensure that individual understands and agrees to comply. Reinforce. Once employee starts showing acceptable behavior foster the exceptional behavior through linking the behavior to appropriate extrinsic and intrinsic rewards. Motivating workers by redesigning work intrinsic outcomes. Workers' commitment increases when they find their job is meaningful or worthwhile, following our five guidelines for work redesign. Combine tasks to increase skill variety. Form identifiable work units to increase task identity. Establish client relationships to receive direct feedback. Increase authority to increase anatomy and task significance. Open feedback channels. Step 4 Remaining steps are related to outcome satisfaction link. Provide salient rewards. Every individual has different needs, individual become satisfied only when rewards are related to those needs. It is important for any manager to identify which reward or incentive will be valued by employee. Maslow and Alderfer provide hierarchy of needs in general. Murray has proposed needs, 
which are very useful for manager for categorizing individuals at work to decide motivational factors of different employees. Needs proposed by Murray Need for achievement People with this need seek detailed feedback and incline to moderately difficult goals. They have strong desire to assume personal responsibility and single-minded focus. Need for affiliation These people have strong desire for approval from others. They have tendency to thrive to fulfill expectations of their managers. Need for power People with the need of personal power seek power and influence for their own sake. People with institutional power needs are organization-minded, they tend to sacrifice their own interests for the good of organization. Step 5 Be fair and equitable Equity refers to workers' perception towards fairness of rewards. Rewards should be in proportion with the ratio of outcomes to inputs of each employee. It is very important to have impression of equity in employees, otherwise they will start avoiding their responsibilities. Step 6 Provide timely rewards and accurate feedback. Reward starts losing its importance as time between desired behavior and receipt of the award increases. It is important to provide awards soon after the desired accomplishment to keep motivation high. Providing accurate and timely feedback is equally important for the reinforcement of the desired behavior. Feedback should be specific and with reference to specific examples, as feedback is meant for either encouraging acceptable behavior or for discouraging unacceptable behavior. Integrative Model of Motivation Enhancement Below figure highlights our discussion of an expanded version of the basic four factors model of motivation. The fact that flowchart begins with motivation is important, because it makes explicit our assumption that individuals are initially motivated to work hard and do a good job. Conclusion It is important to create an environment which will increase the productivity of employees. Define an acceptable level of performance specific behavioral objective, and specific and realistic goals. Help remove all obstacles to reaching performance objectives. Link performance to rewards and discipline to encourage desired behavior. Fairly distribute rewards to increase commitment and engagement of employees. Work distribution should be in appropriate manner, so that each employee find their job worth and meaningful, this increases employee commitment. Rewards distribution should be on timely manner to keep up its value. Timely and accurate feedback about the progress plays important role in the process of achieving desired goals. One of the most important attributes of an effective manager is that he or she should be a good motivator. In order to be able to motivate others, the manager himself or herself should be motivated. Unfortunately, in today's scenario, many managers are not good motivators. Many managers these days cannot distinguish between coercion and motivation. That is one reason productivity is low in many companies as employees are not properly motivated at work. They do not appreciate incentive to be more productive. Innovative and successful companies have charismatic managers, highly skilled and equipped to find ways to motivate employees. Remember, ability to motivate others highly depends on the fact if your employee sees you as a motivated and engaged person.